You have just installed Windows operating system in your laptop, which also has Linux. Windows removes Grub loader and you cannot boot to your Linux operating system as Grub boot menu is missing. Hi friends, Chanchal Bose here with another Linux session. Today I'll demonstrate how you can recover Grub boot loader using any live distribution like Ubuntu, Kali or mostly Linux live. I'll be using mostly Linux live 7.1 as I'm the creator and maintainer of this distro and it is also the next best thing in the history of civilization after Google search. <laughs> okay, not again. In an earlier session, I have already demonstrated how you can recover CentOS, Red Hat or Scientific Linux installation using their installation DVD or any live DVD. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how you can recover any Linux distribution, Ubuntu, Kali, Red Hat, CentOS or Fedora using this method. As you can see, I am using mostly Linux 7.1 live distribution. I have my own reasons to build Use this particular distribution because it includes KDN Live which I use for recording, screen recording etc. Then again Audacity which helps me to record and edit audios. I am going to open a Nautilus file manager window. From there I am going to find out my Linux installation partition. As you can see there are a large number of partitions because I use n number of Linux in your case. And I don't expect to be this many partitions. Before doing anything, just be certain on which particular partition your Linux is installed. For example, in my case, 115 GB volume contains Windows installation and the first 30 GB volume contains Kali Linux. I am going to recover Kali Linux. So, I am going to ch root onto that particular partition. Before doing that, I am going to unmount all partitions other than the one on which Linux is installed. Next, I open a terminal. In this terminal, I have, I'll become root using this command sudo minus i. And once I have become root, next thing I need to map system slash dev folder to the mounted partitions dev folder. df minus h will show me on which particular partition it has been mounted. In this case, it is slash dev slash sda 10 and it is mounted in run media live user b6 and so on. That is the folder where dev sda 10 containing the Linux partition has been mounted. Next thing, I need to map the systems dev folder to the mounted partitions dev folder. Please, please follow this statement properly. I am mounting, that is mapping the slash dev folder to the mounted partitions dev folder using this command mount minus minus bind slash dev and then run media live user mounted and finally slash dev. In the same fashion, I am going to map the systems slash proc partition to the mounted partitions proc folder. So for that, I am going to repeat the command with slight variation that is slash proc and finally here also the end of it slash proc. Once you have done it, the next command is you need to do ch root to the mounted partition. In my case, it would be ch root slash run media live user and so on. Press enter. The next command is grub dash install slash dev slash sda. Of course, it is slash dev slash sda if you have only one hard disk. If you have multiple hard disk, it could be sda and sdb. Anyway, in my case, it's grub install slash dev slash sda. And wait for a few seconds. And if the final line shows no error reported, then you can be certain no error has taken place. If you like this presentation, you may well click the like button. You can also subscribe to this channel. In that case, you get the information of new uploads in your mailbox. In the next example, I am going to recover a partition that contains Red Hat 7.1 installation. The exercise is same with slight variation in the grub command itself. For that again I am mounting the 52 GB volume which contains Red Hat Linux installation. You can see the Red Hat kernel number is different. Next 
again the same set of command that is df minus h to find out where it is mounted that is run media live user and so on and i am going to map the dev folder to the mounted partitions dev folder and again the proc folder to the dev mounted partitions proc folder once you have done it the next command would be not grub dash install i am going to ch root to this mounted partition that is ch root slash run media live user and so on once you have done it in red hat 7.1 or 7 centos 7 fedora's current version the command grub has become different it has become grub2 so you will be typing grub2 dash install slash dev slash sda here it is the last line should contain no error reported once you have executed this command the last line should contain no error reported if you find out any error it will show a different result okay now i am going to sing the virtues of mostly linux distribution mostly linux 7.1 live contains majority of the application a desktop user uses for example fedora live usb creator g parted and other system utilities in addition to that you have multi in multimedia exile multimedia player audacity sound editor kd and live simple scan recorder and in internet you will find many other applications like google chrome filezilla transmission if you like mostly linux 7.1 you can download it from the following download link and finally thanks for watching